Have you ever caught a smell that instantly took you back in time? Maybe the scent of rain on warm pavement, or a whiff of your grandmother's cooking. In just one breath, you're there again, feeling, remembering, reliving. But how can a simple scent unlock memories that even time had hidden away? Today, we're diving into the fascinating science behind how your sense of smell connects directly to your memories and your emotions. Did you know that of all our senses, the sense of smell is the most powerfully linked to memory? A single fleeting scent can whisk us back across the years, unlocking a vivid scene from our past. This isn't a poetic notion, it's a feature of our brain's architecture. The pathway from your nose to your memory centers is a direct ancient motorway that bypasses the usual sensory traffic jams. The smell of rain on hot pavement can instantly recall the joy of a childhood summer. Unlike other senses, signals from our nose travel directly to the brain's emotional and memory centers, the amygdala and hippocampus. This gives smell privileged access to the oldest parts of our consciousness. When we say a smell triggers a memory, it's accurate. It's like a switch being flicked in a distant room of our past. The scent doesn't just remind us of a moment, it lets us inhabit it again. So how does it work? It all begins inside your nose, where tiny scent molecules bind to millions of receptor cells, much like a key fitting into a lock. This connection creates an electrical signal that journeys to a structure called the olfactory bulb. Think of it as the brain's reception desk for smell. Now this is where things get interesting. The olfactory bulb has a direct connection to two very important parts of your brain, the amygdala, the hippocampus. The amygdala is the hub for processing emotions, handling everything from fear, anxiety, pleasure, joy. The hippocampus, its very close neighbor, is absolutely crucial for the formation and the retrieval of long-term memories. They sit side by side, entwined in the brain's limbic system, the ancient part of our brain that governs emotion, behavior, memory. This close physical proximity is the entire secret to smell's power. When you see something or hear something, that sensory information travels first to a region of the brain called the thalamus, which acts like a busy telephone switchboard, sorting the data and relaying it to the relevant cortices for interpretation. But smell is the VIP. It gets to bypass the thalamus entirely. The olfactory bulb sends its information straight to the amygdala and hippocampus creating an immediate and unfiltered link between a scent and emotion. A smell can evoke a strong emotional reaction before you even consciously identify it. The scent of baking bread might conjure feelings of home, while a hospital's antiseptic smell can bring back worry. These powerful associations are forged because the scent and emotion were encoded together in the brain as a single, unified experience. It's an efficient system from our evolutionary past when identifying scents quickly was crucial for survival. Smell provides the emotional texture other senses miss. It's the difference between looking at a map and actually walking the terrain yourself. The human brain is especially receptive to creating strong scent memory links during childhood, logging smells with the intense emotions of youth. These memories are foundational, acting as potent anchors to our past selves. Because scents are ambient and subtle, your brain quietly catalogues them. Years later, a similar scent can flood the scene back with startling precision. Scientists have used advanced brain imaging like fMRI to watch the brain respond to different scents. As a person smells an odor, researchers can see which brain areas become active, lighting up on screens. What these studies show is remarkable. When smelling an odor tied to a personal memory, Scans reveal activity not just in the olfactory bulb, but simultaneously in the hippocampus and the amygdala. Memory and emotion centers light up in sync, providing visible evidence of a direct neural pathway. This research is opening new avenues for understanding and treating memory loss conditions like Alzheimer's. In care homes, scent therapy is used to great effect. Introducing familiar scents can reduce agitation, spark reminiscence, and provide a gentle non-verbal connection. This incredible power is a gift you can use to enrich your own life. You can become an explorer of your past, 
using scent as your compass. Why not try a gentle experiment? Find a quiet moment and choose a familiar scent, a spice, a favorite soap, or an old book. Close your eyes, take a slow breath, and let the scent fill your awareness. Simply wait and see what emerges. It might be a clear picture, a fragment of conversation, or simply a feeling, a wave of warmth, or a flicker of joy. Don't try to force it, just be open. You might be astonished by the vividness of the memories a simple smell can unlock, moments you thought were lost to time. This practice can be a tool for mindfulness, connecting you to the present by consciously paying attention to the aromas around you. The earthy fragrance of a park after it rains. We can ground ourselves more fully in the moment. These small sensory details add a layer of richness to our daily experience, helping us to appreciate the beauty that is all around us. Scents can help us to build new, happy memories for our future selves to look back on. So the next time you catch a whiff of something that feels strangely familiar, I invite you to pause. Don't just dismiss it. Take a moment to follow that invisible thread back in time and see where it leads. These scented memories are like hidden treasure chests filled with the feelings and stories that make us who we are. They are quiet, personal gifts from our own history, reminding us of the journeys we have taken and the love we have known. They are a gentle whisper, assuring us that nothing is ever truly lost 